Hello everyone, welcome to Did You Know, the podcast where we dive into the marvels of the universe and unearth the secrets hidden in plain sight. I'm your host Danny and today we're setting our sights beyond Earth to a little powerhouse that zips around the sun faster than any other, Mercury. Now, Mercury might not be the first name that comes to mind when we think of exciting celestial bodies. It's no gas giant with swirling storms or a planet with stunning rings. But let me tell you, Mercury is like the unsung hero of the solar system, holding secrets to some of the universe's biggest questions. First off, did you know that Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system? That's right. Once upon a time, Pluto held that title, but since its demotion to a dwarf planet, a move that still sparks debates at dinner tables, Mercury stepped up. It's so small that you could fit more than 18 Mercuries inside Earth. But size isn't everything in space. Despite being tiny, Mercury is incredibly dense. Each cubic centimeter of this planet packs a serious punch, second only to Earth in terms of density. That's like comparing a tennis ball to a shot put ball of the same size. This high density suggests that Mercury's core, much like your friend who always orders the densest, richest chocolate cake, is heavy and metallic. Speaking of heavy, let's talk about gravity. You'd weigh a lot less on Mercury than you do on Earth. Imagine that, a planet where your weight loss goals are instantly achieved. But before you pack your bags for a permanent vacation, remember, Mercury's extreme temperatures would make even the best beach day on Earth seem like a breeze. This little planet experiences some of the most dramatic temperatures fluctuations in the solar system, ranging from blistering hot to bitterly cold. Why? Well, it lacks a significant atmosphere to retain heat. So while one side faces the scorching sun, the other side is left out in the cosmic cold. Now let's bring this back to Earth for a second. Understanding Mercury is crucial for us Earthlings. Studying its geology and thin atmosphere provides clues about how planets form and evolve. It even offers insights into Earth's future. So in a way, learning about Mercury is like peeking into a crystal ball. And here's a fun fact for you. Mercury, named after the Roman messenger god, certainly lives up to its namesake's speed. It orbits the sun in just 88 Earth days. Imagine celebrating your birthday every three months. Sounds fun until you realize you're aging four times faster. All right, folks, that wraps up the first part of our cosmic journey to Mercury. But don't go anywhere, because coming next, we're diving deeper into Mercury's mysteries. We've got a myth-busting segment lined up, where we'll separate fact from fiction and we'll tackle some of the most commonly asked questions about the swift planet. So stay curious, keep looking up, and remember, the universe is not just about what's out there, but how it reflects back on our own existence and future. Take a moment today to ponder the wonders of our cosmic neighborhood and how much more there is to learn. That's coming next, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Did You Know, where we're continuing our fascinating journey through the cosmos, focusing on Mercury, the swift planet. I'm Danny, and I'm thrilled to be your guide as we delve deeper into the mysteries of this intriguing celestial body. Let's dive in. Now, first off, why should we care? You might be wondering, why should we care about Mercury? Well, Mercury isn't just another speck in the night sky. It's a key to unlocking the history and evolution of our solar system. Studying Mercury helps us understand the conditions of the early solar system, which in turn sheds light on how Earth and other planets came to be. It's like looking at an old family photo album to understand your roots. Plus, Mercury's unique characteristics, like its extreme temperatures and magnetic field, provide a real-life laboratory for testing our theories about planetary science. In essence, by understanding Mercury, we're piecing together our cosmic stories. 
And now let's address some of the most frequently asked questions about Mercury that we haven't covered yet. How does Mercury's lack of atmosphere affect its surface? Great question. Mercury's lack of a significant atmosphere means it's constantly bombarded by meteorites and solar radiation. This results in a surface filled with craters similar to our moon. It's a stark reminder of the cosmic shooting gallery our solar system resides in. And now, another question. Does Mercury have any moons? Well, unlike Earth, or even Mars and Jupiter, Mercury doesn't have any natural satellites. It's a lone ranger orbiting the Sun, which makes its dynamics even more fascinating to study. And now for the next question. Can we live on Mercury in the future? Well, the short answer, not likely. Mercury's extreme conditions with scorching days and freezing nights, plus its lack of air and water, make it inhospitable for human life as we know it. It's a place for robots and probes, not for beach resorts. And now let's bust some myths about Mercury. Well, the first myth, Mercury is the hottest planet because it's closest to the Sun. Well, this is a common misconception. Although it's the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury is not the hottest. That title goes to Venus, thanks to its thick atmosphere trapping heat. And myth number two, Mercury has no gravity. Well, not true. Every object with mass has gravity, and Mercury is no exception. Its gravity is about 38% of Earth's, which means you could do some impressive high jumps there, but you definitely wouldn't float off into space. Now, before we wrap up, I want to post some discussion questions for you to ponder or share your thoughts on in the comments. Well, how do you think studying Mercury can aid in our understanding of other planets? And another question. If you could send a message to Mercury, what would you say and why? And the final question. How does knowing about planets like Mercury change your perspective about our place in the universe? I encourage you to share your answers, thoughts, and even more questions in the comment section. Let's keep the conversation going. And with that, we come to the end of our journey to Mercury. Thank you so much for joining me on this cosmic adventure. I hope you're walking away with a newfound appreciation for our swift neighbor in the solar system. If you enjoyed this episode of Did You Know? Please follow and share our podcast. Your support helps us keep exploring and sharing the wonders of the universe. And for those who want to take their support a step further, check out our Patreon page. Every contribution helps in bringing more stellar content your way. Remember, the universe is vast and filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Stay curious, keep looking up, and never stop asking questions. Until next time, this is Danny signing off with a reminder. The sky is not the limit. It's just the beginning.